Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss about rheumatic fever. What is rheumatic fever? It is a disease that can affect the heart, joints, brain, skin and central nervous system. It is a rare complication. It happens when solid fever and strep throat infections are not treated properly. Early diagnosis of this disease with antibiotics are key to preventing this disease. This most commonly happens in young children and teenagers. Causes what are the causes of this disease? The main two causes of this disease is that if strep throat and scarlet fever infections are not treated properly, the infection goes to the bones and the bones literally blow up. No, not blow up. Its size is just oversized from normal size. Symptoms. What are the symptoms of this disease? It can cause heart problems, joint problems, nosebleed, heart problems and a high fever over 102 degree Fahrenheit. Diagnosis What is it diagnosis? A patient must have had a proper throat infection first must have antibodies in the blood to fight the disease. Vaccine There is no vaccine available not yet but Australian medical scientists are working to develop a streptococcus vaccine a vaccine to prevent streptococcal infections related with rheumatic infections. So what happens if rheumatic fever is not treated. Well, long-term heart disease called rheumatic heart disease may occur. This disease weakens the valves between the chamber of heart. Severe rheumatic heart disease can require heart surgery and result in death. Where is rheumatic fever most commonly in the world? And who is at risk? Rheumatic fever mostly affects children and teenagers in middle-income countries, especially where poverty is widespread and access to health services is limited. People who live in overcrowded and poor conditions are at greater risk of developing the disease. So take care and stay blessed.